In this video, I'm going to create a .NET Core web API using Visual Studio. I'll be using a local SQL Server Express instance to provide the data. So if you want to follow along with the video, you'll need to have installed SQL Server Express or at least have access to a SQL Server instance and have created your own database with a table containing some sample data. So let's get started. I'll open Visual Studio and I'll create a new project. ASP.NET Core Web Application. Now choose the API template. Leave everything set as default and create that. So just from Solution Explorer, uh, you'll see there's a, a default weather forecast class and a, a controller. So what I'll do, I'll just do a quick build just to make sure that works. Build succeeded. And then I'll run that just to see if we're getting it running and there's no problems with firewall or um, HTTPS or anything like that. Yeah, so the, the built-in controller works, so that's fine. Uh, so we can actually delete that. As we won't be using it. Okay. So we want to install the Entity Framework core package to the, to the uh, project. So to manage new get packages, browse, and Microsoft Entity Framework Core. So install that. to go into the app settings JSON file and I want to add the connection string for the database. So now I want to create a folder. And call it models. And within here create a class. I'll call it quotes data model. Uh, so I want to create a class uh, within here whose objects will be data pulled from the table. So uh, let's delete that. Uh, so give the class the same name as the table. So if we just go back to the 
database. So the table name is Eastern Quartz. Um, they want to create properties within the class whose names reflect the column names and types found in the table. So that's ID. check those. So quote text and quote author. It's fine. So let's create another folder. Like data. And create class that will be the database context class. So call this we want to be using entity framework. And models namespace. We want to inherit from DB context. And create a couple of methods. Okay, so I want to add another package. So manage new get packages. Uh, this time entity framework core SQL server. So once that's done, I'm going to start up to make a reference to Entity Framework. And also the data namespace. And the configure services method is it making references now to the connection strings that we created earlier. So a connection string called dbase connection, let's just check that. In app settings, yeah, dbase connection. Add the database context. And 
as it's a SQL server that we're using, we want to use the use SQL server and then pass in the connection string. So now we want to scaffold a controller. There's a wizard we can use for this. Right click on controllers, add controller. You want to select API controller with actions using entity framework. For the model class, choose the Eastern Quartz class we created earlier. Then the data context class and add. So once that's created, we can go into it. Now we don't actually need to make any changes to this to get some data back, because everything should be built already. Uh, but as a final change, we need to go into uh, Properties and Launch Settings. We need to change the launch URL. So that should be... Eastern Quartz. Let's capitalize that. Save and build. I can run it. Okay, so we can see that the actual data is coming back now, as expected. And we can specify an ID in slash 2. Okay, so that's working. Now let's make this a bit bigger. So if I go into the database and add another record, to the API, refresh, so you can see that's brought back. So that's working fine. So thanks for watching this video. It shows how to create a web API that connects to SQL database, um, brings back the data. We're just doing uh, get commands. Uh, we're not actually writing any, any data back to the database. Uh, I'll cover that in a separate video. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Um, and see you again. Thank you.